So I want to make a thing that does a thing. Let's draw a thing over here. Thing. Okay. So this thing, I want it to become two things. Thing one. Okay. And thing two. There we go. Okay. So now with these two things, I want this thing over here to, uh... Okay, but not this one. This one is gonna go over here and this one's gonna be like uh, This one's gonna be like yikes. I cannot draw with a mouse. There we go. Okay, so we've got Al and yikes So what do you think this is missing? Exactly, it's missing the baby. So I'm gonna look up baby pictures I'm gonna look up baby pictures real quick Okay, that's that's exactly what I want. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I want the baby in here, right? So we bring in the baby uh, We make a transparent selection Right here There we go. That's really nice actually Okay, so we get the baby in here, right? We're gonna have to zoom out. This is gonna become a big diagram So we get the baby in there Okay We look at the baby we decide who he is we bring them over here, okay? Right, so we put the baby right over here and we look at the baby and we think, we gotta put the baby in the basket. So we put the baby in the basket. <laughs> it's more like an oil drum. We put the baby in the oil drum and we fill it up. So we put the baby in the oil drum, it's all filled up, then what, you know? Because there's always that then what moment. So now, I'm saying we put both of these, the yikes and the owl, through the baby in the oil drum. And then that just like parallel though. Okay, goes through the oil drum. Then we have two things. Okay, because it's not going to be the same thing coming in that comes out. And you're going to get very different results. Because you have to remember these are parallel they're both going through the baby in the oil drum but they come out differently because they don't interact with each other so they go through the baby in the oil drum and then what so you get the rubber ducky okay get the rubber ducky and uh, you just uh, do you get where this is going because this one's gonna go down here. But this, this is where it just doesn't make any sense, by the way. This is coming over here. And what are we gonna call our final product? I think, uh, I think we should call it Baba. And it should just be like Baba, Baba. Baba, 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 Baba. Baba, Baba. just like really mad okay okay so to recap I can zoom back in here now that we're finally ready we started with the thing okay and the thing ended up diverging into thing one and thing two and you got to understand that I'm gonna make some light notes here this this part right here this is where they don't meet again until they merge at the very end but we're not there yet, okay? So thing one and thing two, they make way and they're gone from each other. So we have Al and Yikes, you know, that they become their own thing. And then the baby in the oil drum. And I'm not gonna get redundant. We already went over all this. You know, I'm just trying to sum it up. So you'll notice though, that each of these parallel routes, if you look at the upper route, that goes through the rubber ducky and then the bottom one, that goes through the oil drum, but not the rubber ducky. Okay. This route on the top is longer than the bottom route. What does this mean? What it means is that the upper route is going to be farther away from the origin. Do you understand? Because it's gone through another layer of abstraction from the bottom route. 
So they end up in the same place right down here. But you have to understand the implications of two different things like that who are two varying levels, two varying degrees of separation from their origin, a shared origin, mind you. And but they both end up down here. So that's the confusing part. But regardless of all of that, you could actually ignore all of this. And in the end, you could just look over here. It becomes all of this, all of this right here. And it makes me mad. It makes me really mad. Okay. Okay, so that's what we have. So you may be looking at this now and thinking to yourself or verbally asking your computer screen, Why, what's this mean, Josiah? <laughs> and if you just sit around, I'll tell you. Okay, so this is basically a blueprint. This is a blueprint except it's not a conventional blueprint. So first we're gonna get a Halloween song. I'm gonna look up Halloween song. And here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to f just download the first thing that I find, this one, yep. Yeah, oh, God, okay, cool. So now we have our sample. Down the street on Halloween night. That's beautiful, I love that, okay. <laughs> We're gonna save that wave as a uh, idiot god and actually We are going to find the CDP directory. There it is We're gonna just drop that right in there Skip a step. There we go. Now. Let's get our blueprint ready because this is the blueprint. We're gonna be following Let's create a new instrument off of this blueprint Okay, so first we'll go to instrument with idiot god selected Then we're going to make instrument. So first thing to do is to go to channels and Then extract and then I'm gonna extract all channels This is gonna separate the stereo file into the left channel and the right channel I'm gonna be extremely verbose and explain every single so Here's what we've done. We started with thing and it split into thing one and thing two. So far, so good. So let's start by addressing thing one to Al, because this is gonna be our first uh, stepping stone in this terrible journey of Halloween night. So this is our thing one. Let us continue. Now for this, we're actually gonna be doing something uh, a little strange. We're gonna be going to reverb echo, reverb with room characteristics, okay? So we have all of these parameters here. We have this, uh, we have this, <clears throat> we have this. We have all these things, none of them matter. I'm looking at this and what I'm trying to think to myself is, what the fuck do any of these numbers mean? And I don't exactly know, but uh, yeah, I have nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this. I don't know what it's gonna sound like. I'm not gonna listen to what it sounds like because that's just pointless. Okay, so we turned thing one into ow. This is our ow now, okay. So now I'm gonna make our yikes, and I think it's pretty obvious what yikes has to be. We're gonna go under distort, and we're just gonna average out these wave cycles. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now we have that. Okay, so we've actually made a decent bit of progress so far. We've gone from, from thing to thing one and thing two, and then to ow and yikes, and these are parallel now, okay? The two shall not meet until this fucking accident. So now, the elephant in the room, the baby in the barrel. Okay. Can we get an elephant in there? No, that's a waste of time. So, we have the baby in the barrel, and this is kind of where it gets up to, uh, it gets left up to interpretation a bit. Because I feel like everybody looks at the baby in the barrel at some point in their life, and they just think, okay, what the fuck? You know, I thought I was old enough to be happy at this point in my life. 
but things just kind of pass me by and I feel like things are happening to other people and I'm just there to watch it. So we need to put ourselves into the barrel with the baby. First, we're going to start with this end. We're going to analyze it. Okay, we're going to analyze it into a spectrum. We're going to do this for both sides. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Okay, so now we're in the spectral world. We're getting really scary. We don't know what to do. We're gonna figure out what to do. Cause first we're gonna take this spectrum, okay? Then we are going to, what should we do to it, guys? I think we're gonna blur this one. We're gonna make it really blurry. Okay, that's really nice. That's really nice. So right now, just so you know, as you can see by the color, the color red, this is the barrel, and we are the baby. So we're going to do the other end of the baby in the barrel, because remember, they don't touch. We're going to do some tracery. We're going to trace this one. And this is going to make it really thin, because the baby, it's in an acidic barrel substance of some kind. It's like... What's that acid called? No, I don't know what it's called. Oh, hydro. Okay, so I feel like we're done with the baby in the barrel. And now we got to do that weird shit I was talking about. And we got to fucking touch that ducky. And that shit freaks me out. So you may be wondering which of these two down here, because one of them has to go to the ducky. And I'm just going to go ahead and let you know right now that it's this one. It's that one. It's the one on the right side. It's going in the ducky. Sorry. Is super accumulate the fuck? Yep. That's actually what I wanted to do. I just remembered. Sorry. I was having a hard time remembering. Okay. So that's the ducky. And oh, I hate this part. I'm trying to interpret what it wants me to do here because this gets more confusing the more you go along the diagram because at first you know we just had the thing and everybody knows what a thing is like someone that's like just learning English even I feel like a lot of people would know what a thing is okay but then you get all the way over here and you just you could look at this as like an axis that represents the degree of separation from the truth. I'm gonna write that down. Of separation from the truth. I need to make that smaller. Okay, there we go. Degree of separation from the truth, that's excellent. That's on point, that's very astute. Yeah, that's the degree of separation from the truth. And so, as you can imagine, if that's the case, then by the time we're over here, nothing makes sense. But we're gonna come back Okay, so you're gonna notice as we move left again, we're actually moving closer to the truth. But we're not there yet. We're pretty much at the most confusing point. So, what are we gonna do with this information? All this stuff that I just told you. I'm actually about to tell you. We're gonna take both of these. Both of the things we ended up with, we're gonna combine them. And we're gonna take the we're gonna take the difference of them okay so we have that yeah this graphs getting a little freaky now so now we're gonna take this just I'm kind of free ball it here for a second bear with me okay we're doing that we're doing that we're synthesizing okay it's like we have chemicals in our body you know look up chemical Wikipedia and we're gonna turn it back into audio because before it was in the barrel we got out of the barrel and we're safe now so now that we're through all of that you have to wonder where we are in this very miserable this doesn't even do it justice this is a very linear representation of the journey we just went through it really is more like a horseshoe because you can see it goes right curves down and oops curves down ends up going left again okay so 
we're coming out the tail end and I'm gonna close this up for us okay I'm gonna bring it in because I think we're all ready to bring this one in merge process keep process bam there we go there we go okay we're just gonna conclude yes I'm sure poopy okay so we're gonna name this entire process we just look we went all the way around we made it we made it over here we earned this we are back to the truth so you know what this <laughs> this is actually really funny you know what this looks a lot like guys we just made the hero's journey Guys, this was the hero's journey. You get it yet? Carl Jung, Joseph Campbell, archetypal symbols. Guys, this was the hero's journey. We just went on the hero's journey together. And we're about to bear the fruits of our labor. And that's what this is going to be called. The fruits of our labor. There we go. We actually just finished that. And now, we're gonna find out what it sounds like. If I can, uh, if I can find it, there it is. Okay guys, here we go. This is the fruit of our labor. Wow. In a word, Epic.